We have the uh, power up event and then we have the scheduled uh, six hour uh, ping alert. And the van is still at um, the Kennewood Suites in Decatur, Texas. And I should have asked you to clarify this, but on those van schedule alerts um, you have in the line, it says stopped, stop, stop, stopped for those different references. Uh, why do you have that word stop there and what does that mean? It means it's parked. Um, so uh, we mapped out all of the pings and sometimes it was traveling on the highway. And when it's traveling, um, it gives you um, where it's at and how fast it's going. Um, and so this is just important showing that it's just uh, parked in the parking lot of the hotel. Okay. And then moving into uh, February 4th, did they spend the night in Decatur, Texas? They did. And then the next timed entry is at uh, 1222 a.m. What is that? Um, so we're now into February 4th. It's a Tuesday. At 1222 a.m., uh, the defendant's American Express was charged for $106 at the Cannawood Suites located at 1953 North Cross Lane in Pensacola, Florida. Why is uh, the stop at that Candlewood Suites in Pensacola, Florida, um, significant for the investigation? Uh, that's where Gannon would later be found, uh, in, in, nearby, uh, under a bridge. Okay. Let me ask you um, whether you know this or not. Um, was surveillance video, like we got the, we had the surveillance video from the Amarillo, Texas, Candlewood Suites. Mm -hmm. uh, was there able to be um, video obtained from the Pensacola, Florida, uh, Candlewood Suites? Unfortunately, there was not. Uh, it had already been overwritten. Okay. Uh, the next entry is at 4.15 a.m., and it goes above the line to the cast report page 54. Why is that cast report page significant for this timeline? So it shows the towers and sectors that service the Verizon phone, phone number two, that provide coverage to the Candlewood Suites where they stayed the night. We've got two scheduled pings at 5.10 a.m. and 11.10 a.m., in the parking lot of the Candlewood Suites. And then we had one of those power-up events at 4.15 a.m. And here's where Gannon was later found, and here's where that power-up event occurred. And so sometime between 12.22 a.m., when um, the defendant checked into the hotel, and 4.15 a.m., the van had moved. Uh, it was less than... Was it 1.8 miles from that point to where Gannon was? was I was going to say less than two miles. Yeah, and it's 1.8 miles from that ping to where Gannon was found. And actually, I think I um, took you down the wrong path. So the 1.8 miles, uh, based on the cast page there, do you see the brackets? That's from the hotel to the ping. It's still, it's less than two miles from the ping to where Gannon was found. Okay. Just want to make sure we made that correction. The 5.10 a.m. to 11.10 a.m. Uh, entry, what is that telling us? Those are the scheduled every six-hour pings, and those are technically in the Comfort Inn parking lot, but the Comfort Inn shares a parking lot with um, the Candlewood Suites when you look at it on a map. So does that mean that the Candlewood Suites and that Comfort Inn are right next to each other? Right next to each other with a shared parking lot. All right. 